Welcome into sportsbookreview.com. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. This is the Gasparilla Bowl. That's right, the Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl preview between South Carolina and UAB. Now, before we get started, let me go ahead and fire in sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. That's your one-stop shop for this entire bowl season and really any college football season along with any other sports season <laughs> because we got everything over there, sbrpicks.com. For us, though, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF, we have an article and a video that is previewing every single bowl game. If you want more analysis, go and check those out. There is a link down in the, uh, in the description that you can click on very easily right there. Do us a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share the show out. Tell your friends all that good stuff, and jump in the comments. Tell us which way you are going to bet on this game. We're going to tell you at the end of the video, so tell us which way you are going to roll. Let's fire in. It's 12 p.m. Eastern time on ABC, Saturday, December 26th, South Carolina and UAB. Line open, UAB minus 4.5. It's out to 6.5 as of right now. Total of 45.5 is now at 47. South Carolina, 2-8 and eight on the year. They have been dreadful. 3-7 and seven against the spread, 0-5 oh in their last five games. UAB, 6-3 and three overall. They won the Conference USA Championship, 3-6 and six against the spread, just 2-3 and three against the number in the last five. But they have won two straight. They didn't cover against Rice, but okay, that's no big deal. They won against Rice. They covered one outright as a dog against Marshall, and they won the CUSA title. UAB number 14. In EPA per play defense, number three in success rate defense. However, they're number 45 in yards per carry defense. Talking about rushing defense? Yeah. South Carolina has a running back named Kevin Harris who has run for over 1,100 yards this year, and he is an absolute stud. Now, I know that South Carolina has been dreadful against SEC competition. This may be one of those games where they can just out-talent and out-will UAB at the line of scrimmage. That's what I'm I'm curious about. I think UAB can still win this game, but the fact that this line has jumped all the way out to six and a half, almost a touchdown at the point of, of us recording this, I kind of think they're going to lean heavily on Kevin Harris. I think that Mike Bobo and that offense, they're going to be able to put up some points here. I like the over 47 and a half because I think both teams will score at least somewhat. And, and I do think that South Carolina will put up enough points to be able to keep it within this number. I'm going to take South Carolina as the dog to cover. We might go opposite on everything here. I, I think I do like the dog. I I think this UAB uh, defense is going to stymie Mike Do- Bobo and uh, this South Carolina offense that has not looked good at all. Yes, South Carolina has uh, significantly more talent than UAB. That's undeniable and not questionable. The problem is is, is coaching is going to matter and the the ability uh, of those guys at South Carolina and their really care to be in this game at all. Um, I always think when the little guys play in the big guy, they want to be there. They want to compete against them. And, um, and yeah, in this case, they're favored. They're favored by a significant march, you know, almost a touchdown. I think it's going to be low scoring. I'm, 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 give me the Dragons. Give me the fighting Blazers of UAB. <laughs> I can get with it. I will take South Carolina. You will take UAB. Uh, that seems par for the course so far this bowl season. So do us a favor. Again, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. There is a link in the description to the article that goes along with this bowl preview. We will have an article for every bowl game, a video for every bowl game. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that you like this video. Jump in the comments. If if you're siding with Chris, let us know. If you're siding with me, let me know, of course. We would love to hear from you as well. For sportsbookreview.com, I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we will see you on the next one.